All right, guys, so I wanted to do this video to accompany uh, my item of the day today, and I, I was in a real quandary about this little device for quite a while, and I decided to just give full disclosure to everything I found out about it and still recommend it. So let's start out with the negative. This is made by a company called Okumai, which is, of course, a Chinese company like most of this stuff is. And uh, right now I have it kind of at the lowest setting. You can probably barely hear we got American Pie playing there, streaming off of my iMac. Uh, Don McLean on my Pandora station. Okay, so um, Okumai is a company that is absolutely gaming the Amazon system. You can see they have 184 customer reviews and five stars. If you go to fakespot.com, they'll get an F on that. And if we if we come down here and take a look, you can see that on the verified purchase, or actually here, like if you start going through these people. Like, let's look at Mr. Eddie Robinson. We'll open him in a new tab. Because sometimes fake spot, you, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But if you look, he's reviewing basically all products for this same company. And if I take a look at, so there's Eddie. And then if we look at, where's Peggy Cooper? Peggy Cooper's also done reviews for these people. And let's take a look at what she's reviewed. It looks very similar, doesn't it? It's the, the same products. So let's talk about how there's the uh, chocolate mini, and both of them reviewed that. So they've reviewed all the same products. These are clearly uh, sock puppet accounts. Let me tell you how I found this little guy. Let's give it a little bit more sound. I've got the turn it up there. I found this, a friend had one, and we were just outside hanging out in his backyard, and he had his plane, and it sounded really good, and I'm like, that's a pretty nice little Bluetooth speaker, what'd you get for that? And uh, he said, uh, about 45 bucks. So, since I had seen it and checked it out, and we were outside, and there was some sprinklers going on, and it, he's like, yeah, look, it's waterproof. He held it under the sprinkler, it worked. I thought, well, hell, I mean, I'll just go home and pick one up. So I went, I picked one up. Had it for a couple of weeks and decided, yeah, it really is that good. I want to do it as an item of the day. Doing my due diligence after I bought it instead of before, I found all this. And I think we have to understand why people are doing this. This is the same reason that I did black hat SEO techniques back in the day when I was in internet marketing. They're doing it because it works. So they're putting a brand new product up and they, they have a bunch of sock puppet people go and review them so that they get on the board at Amazon and they can start actually selling them. The only negative review I found of this device, and I can't believe that all 184 of them are sock puppets. I just don't believe that. Uh, one said that you know it doesn't compare to real speakers like Sonos and Bose. Well, those are two to three hundred dollar speakers you're comparing it to. So I don't expect a forty-five dollar speaker to perform like that. Let's take a listen to what this actually sounds like. We'll go ahead and turn up the. And that's pretty much maxed out. That's louder than I needed for the kind of places I would be using this. So it sounds great. I took it in the shower and had a beer and listened to the music while I was in the shower. It worked well with that. I've had my phone as far away from it while I'm streaming from my phone as I have any other Bluetooth device. It syncs almost immediately. And for 45 bucks, I think it's a hell of a deal. So I'm running it today in spite of the fact that they're cheaters. They're cheating the Amazon system, but the reality is the reason fake spot exists is so many people are cheating the Amazon system. And I think it's because Amazon's become so competitive that these people feel justified in cheating to, uh, to get their items on the board. Because if you put an item on Amazon and you don't get a few reviews for it right away, well, no one ever sees it, no one ever buys it, no one knows it's any good. And so I think these people are doing this type of stuff right now, again, because it works. And sometimes when you find fake spot reviews of an F or a D or something like that, and you check the product out, the product is shit. Um, if I could find a product that I thought was a better little speaker, as far as sound quality, form factor, completely waterproof, and I mean, this has got some weight to it. It's built nice, portable, um, you know, just kind of a perfect thing for like a job site or something like that at that price point that size and the sound quality again um, I'd recommend it I'd rather recommend it than one from a cheater but in the end is this a good product yeah and I was sitting here thinking well what do I do for a review today 
And I decided, hey, I would just tell you, this is, this is a great device. It's got NFC as well, so if you have an NFC-enabled smart device, you can basically just pair it by touching your NFC signal to that. That works as well. Uh, you can you know, skip and advance the different songs right from the device or your phone. Um, it all depends on what, you, you know, what you're doing. And uh, it does give you a, a notice that you've, you've reached the maximum volume. So what I usually do is I keep mine set on max volume, and then I control it from the device that it's attached to. And uh, that seems to work really well for me because I usually have the device with me, not the, the speaker. So it's up to you whether you think this is a, is a good buy or not. I do think it's a good buy. I kind of wish these guys hadn't cheated, but um, you know, I kind of understand why they're doing it. And uh, in this case, the device checks out. So I do recommend it as a uh, portable Bluetooth speaker if you're looking for one.